Let's do some shading and coloring. And I've got three different graphs here, but I really want to start with just a line. So I'm going to hide these other two. To start with a line, notice how I've got an equal sign there. If I change this to an inequality, say that I want y more than, and I change this instead to greater than, it's now shading above the line. Take a look at that dashed line too. This is a strict inequality. I want it strictly above the line, not on the line. If I want it to be on the line also, I want it greater than or equal to. So let's go ahead and throw in an equal sign. I'm gonna type it right next to the greater than and it changes it into a greater than or equal symbol. So now I've got on the line, which is solid or above. I can change this to shade, of course, below that line by changing that inequality to a less than or I can do a less than or equal to. Let me go ahead and add in a second line here. Now I can do the same thing with the red line shading above or below, but let's say that I wanted to shade in between these two lines. So if I wanted to shade in between the two lines, let's say on the left-hand side, that would mean that I would want this red line first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as X minus four. I want that to be the lowest, and then I want this to be less than my y values and then less than I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste I'm gonna control C to copy that and then control V to paste that now it looks like it's shaded more than just in between but I still have that other shading on there so now I've got just strictly in between those two curves now I could have gotten a little fancier and named these instead let's say that I want to name this one f of x and I'm going to let this one be equal. I'm going to go ahead and add in another one. Let's call this next one g of x and I want g of x to be that x minus 4. Now I'm going to get rid of the shading that I had in between those two. So I did have this top one blue, but I want the bottom one to be red. So I'm gonna click and hold on that circle, and then I've got my color options. I'm gonna change that one to red. Now I want a brand new cell, so let me go ahead and grab one here. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag this so that it's underneath. I want the red one down below. So that's gonna be g of x is less than my y values is less than my f of x values. I can click off of these lines and I'm left with just the shading. Now you might wonder how we can do this with multiple shapes. I'm gonna get rid of this shaded area here and I'm gonna click on this parabola that I've got and my other two lines. Let's say this time I want to shade in between that V shape that's on the bottom and the parabola that's on the top. So I want this shape right here. Now we notice that it's really nice to give these different names. So I'm going to go ahead and call my parabola, let's call this H of X. So I'm going to call this one H of X. If I try and do in between the blue function, which is F, and the green function, which is H, I'm almost there. So I've got F of X, um, let's do less than or equal to Y, less than or equal to H of X. Now I'm almost there, but I don't want this little triangular piece over here. If I click on this point, I see that I've got the point two comma negative two. I actually wanna cut this off at two. Let's go ahead and add a restriction. And to add a restriction, I'm gonna use my curly brackets. So shift to get that curly bracket. I want my X's, so my X's, to be less than that X value right here, which is two. So X to be less than two. So now I've got the part that's just between the blue line and the green parabola. If I go into the rest of my area here, this is gonna be between the red line and the green parabola. Let's grab an empty cell, and this time I want g of x as the lower. So g of x is less than my y values, which is less than my green parabola, which is h of x, and it gives me way too much. Well, this time I just want the area that's to the right of two. So I'm gonna put in some domain restrictions here by doing a 
curly bracket. And this time I want X greater than two. I can also keep these colors the same. So if I want that shading to be the same, I'm just gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna change that shading to blue, and I've got that shading. The last thing that I wanna show you to shade is a circle. So let's put a circle up here. So something like X squared, um, plus y squared equals, we'll do equals nine. So I've got a circle with radius three. If I wanna do inside the circle, I want everything that has a radius smaller than three. So this is going to be less than or less than an equal to. And if I want everything outside of that circle, it's going to be greater than.